You know, most people will tell you that they want to make money without understanding the law. The only people who make money work in a mint. The rest of us are earning our money. This is what causes those who look for something for nothing or a free ride to fail in life. The only way to earn money is by providing people with services or products which are needed and useful. We exchange our product or service for the other person's money, and therefore the law is that our financial return will be in direct proportion to our service. Success is not the result of making money. Making money is the result of success. And success is in direct proportion to our service. Most people have this new law backwards. They believe that you are successful when you've earned a lot of money. The truth is that you can only earn money after you are successful. It's like the story of the person who sat in the front of the stove and said, give me the heat and then I'll add you the wood. How many women and men do you know, or do you suppose there are today, who take the same attitude toward life? There are millions. We've got to put the fuel in before we can expect the heat. Likewise, we've got to be of service first before we can expect money. Don't concern yourself with the money. Be of service, build, work, dream, create. Do this and you'll find that there is no limit to the prosperity and abundance that will come to you. Prosperity is founded upon a law of mutual exchange. Any person who contributes to prosperity must prosper in return. Sometimes the return will not come from those you serve, but it must come to you from someplace, for that is the law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. As you go through your daily 30-day test period, remember that your success is also going to be measured by the quality and quantity of service you render, and money is a yardstick for measuring this service. No person can get rich themselves unless they enrich others. There are no exceptions to this law. You may drive down any street in any country and from your car estimate the service that is being rendered by the people living on those streets. Have you ever thought of this yardstick before? It's interesting. Some, like ministers, priests, and other devoted people, measure their returns in the realm of the spiritual. But again, their returns are equal to their service. Once this law is fully understood, any thinking person can tell their own fortune. If they want more, they must be of more service to those from whom they want to receive their return. If they want less, they have only to reduce service. This is the price you must pay for what you want. If you believe you may enrich yourself by deluding others, then you will only end up by deluding yourself. Just as surely as you breathe, you will get back what you put out. Don't ever make the mistake of thinking you can avert this. It's impossible. The prisons and the streets where the lonely walk are filled with people who try to make new laws just for themselves. We may avoid the laws of society, but there are greater laws that cannot be broken. An outstanding medical doctor pointed out six steps that will help you realize success. One, set yourself a definite goal. Two, quit running yourself down. Three, Stop thinking of all the reasons you cannot be successful and instead think of all the reasons why you can. Four, trace your attitudes back through your childhood and try to discover where you first got the idea you could not be a success if that is the way you've been thinking. Five, change the image you have of yourself by writing out a description of the person you'd like to be. And six, act the part of the successful person you have decided to become. Now, the doctor who wrote these words was a noted West Coast psychiatrist, David Harold Fink, MD. Do what all the experts since the dawn of recorded history have told you you must do. Pay the price by becoming the person you want to become. It's not nearly as difficult as living unsuccessfully. Make your 30-day test, then repeat it. Repeat it again. Each time, it will become more a part of you until you'll wonder why you could have ever lived any other way. Live this new way and the floodgates of abundance will open and pour over you more riches than you may have dreamed existed. Money, yes, lots of it. But what's more important, you'll have peace. You'll be in that wonderful minority who can lead calm, cheerful, successful lives. Start today. You have nothing to lose, but you have a life to win. How I Learned About the Strangest Secret in the World. Years ago, I met Bernie Halroyd. He chased me for a little bit, trying to date me. He thought bringing me a gift as I was a Southern girl would be the trick. 
Bernie brought for your first gift to me was a little blue book and it was called The Strangest Secret. And I actually thought he was the strangest guy in the world bringing me this little paperback book. But I read it and it opened up a whole world for me. We built businesses, we built a family, and we built a life together on The Strangest Secret, starting it all out, huh? Yeah, and we're still going forward. <laughs>